everybody. Uh, this is Jason Ritchie back with another YouTube video. Uh, in my last YouTube video, I did an exercise on chugging on the inhale only, which was also an exercise in how to gain your breath back so you can play a lot of inhale notes and get rid of air. Basically, the lesson consisted of places to exhale that don't include another note. So you're when you're blowing out, you're not making another note and how that relates to <clears throat> rhythm playing in general and time and that kind of thing. Um, today I would like to do a lesson on along the lines of the train stuff although it doesn't have to be. The, uh, the lesson is going to be on major licks in kind of a country kind of a way. Um, if, you're, if you want to get into this video and really get deep into it Please revisit some of my older videos, like the one on the major scale, maybe, one on triplets, okay, because I'm going to get into some triplet stuff here, the, of course, the chugging video that we just talked about, the tongue stutter, and uh, the tongue stutter video, and then uh, there's another video I did on tongue blocking uh, octaves, okay. Um, you might already know all that stuff, and in that case, don't bother. Um, anyway, I'll try to explain anything, everything as I go along anyway. So basically, the scale we're working with is a scale that I wasn't really familiar with the name of it very much. It's called the Major Pentatonic Scale. You know, the pentatonic scale that I knew was the minor pentatonic. That Now, by the way, this is an A-flat Suzuki Manji. Uh, the reason I'm using an A flat is a lot of my harps are out of tune right now, and I got to do some work on them. And also, A flat is a nice low key, and a lot of the country and chugging stuff sounds really pretty when you have a nice low key, so you can get that pretty chord. That okay. So anyway, <clears throat> the major pentatonic scale is just a major scale without the the four note in it. And without the uh, the major seven or the five blow, uh, five over blow, so it's just two draw, three draw, bend a whole step, three draw, four draw, five blow, six blow. And you can go lower to the two blow two blow and the one draw. Um, also, you know, the major pentatonic doesn't have the four blow in it, but you can certainly put that in. So what I want to talk to you about is just some cool licks that you can start off doing and how they work out. Um, you know, I first started hearing this kind of harmonica playing when I was, when I was really young. Uh, a lot of guys like Mickey Raffia, uh, Kirk Jelly Roll, uh, Terry McMillan, of course Charlie McCoy. A lot of these uh, harmonica players were doing this kind of stuff, um, and I and I really dug it. I, I mean, I, I was m at that time more off into Little Walter and the blues guys, but I liked how these guys could really sound so pretty, and uh, so I started emulating it at a very young age. Uh, I don't think it was until pretty recently that I really started, maybe a few years ago, when I moved down to New Orleans, that I started really working this scale into a lot of my, my playing and uh, choosing to play uh, this kind of a major thing in more of a, a Zydeco context, but still you can, it's a country thing. Uh, regardless of what part of the country you're living in, it's a it's a rural kind of sound. And uh, let's just talk about it a little bit. So, you know, anytime you're approaching a new scale, you know, you got the first three notes. Two draw, three draw, bend a whole step, or double bend on the three, and then three draw major. Now, I like to put a lot of chords in because it's major and I have these pretty major chords available to me in second position. So, so you're going to hear me do that a lot. And all I'm doing is just open my mouth up a little bit and intentionally adding a little sloppiness in there. 
okay? So the reason I talk about the first three notes is because, well, now I have a bunch of triplets I can do. <laughs> or backwards now, you know that's I never even played it exactly like that it's just a cool way to improvise so you know you got your triple lip now, you might have heard that little waver I did in there. This is stuff. I'm going wah, wah, wah. So I'm bending and then releasing the bend, bending it back down again. You hear a Butterfield do this a lot on the flat seven in cross R. I, I do it all over the place. Okay, so anyway. A little Ben glissando there. So, you know, you got these first three notes and you got your triplets. And practicing those and getting them fast makes it really easy to, you know, put them in a train vamping. And on and on and on. Okay, and then you just start adding them, like, you know, going right up the scale as I gave it to you, you know. You do the next three. You start on the second note of the scale, the three draw bend. Go to the three draw natural. And then to the four draw. So you got... Now, the cool thing about this is it's, you know, it's all draw. So is the other one, too. But it seems a little easier because you're just releasing the bend on the three. So you can really just... Uh, go pretty fast on this one pretty pretty easily now I, I use my tongue against my two front teeth and you can see that in my triplet videos to get a kind of a more staccato sound out of it <laughs> And I also like reverse my triplets a lot. And just go back and forth. And when you start messing with them, don't worry about trying to get mine exactly right. I mean, you can. But when you start messing with them, you'll make some mistakes. And out of those mistakes will come some of your own cool little rhythmic ideas. You know, um, uh, Mad Cat, Peter Mad Cat Ruth, who's also... Um, phenomenal at this type of playing um, gave me his rhythm harmonica video and uh, I had it for like a year and I tried to learn it and I and I and I I wasn't doing very good I, I think I got through like 20 minutes of it and um, I ran into him and he asked me he goes hey how did you like that video I gave you and you know I thought about like lying at first and saying like oh man you know it changed my life and like I learned all your techniques and you know but I, I just told him, I said, hey, look, I, I said, I really tried it, but it was really tough. I couldn't remember the tikata, tukata, takata, tita, and all of the different syllables. And I said, so, but I said, but the cool thing was, is when I started trying to do it, I came up with all this cool stuff of my own that I wouldn't have if it hadn't have been for your video. And he said, well, you know, man, he said, you know, when I made the video, all I was doing was my version of the shit that I couldn't learn that Sonny Terry was trying to show me. And I thought that was really interesting, and that's just what happened, you know, a generation removed. So I'm telling you right now, do your best to accurately imitate your heroes, but at the same time, you know, there's room for error and thus, alas, new development. Okay, so anyway, just going right up the scale, you have... And then the next triplet. And then... And then... All I'm doing is just keeping, you know, starting on the second note of the scale and doing a triplet up. Then starting on the third note of the scale and doing a triplet up. This is a lot of like how I think and how I come up with ideas. It's not original at all. It's like uh, 
second or first and second year like piano and sax exercises you'd hear high school kids doing it's just not a lot of stuff that uh musicians discipline themselves to do sometimes you know um on their own but this is something you hear a lot in jazz music and sometimes in country music just anybody who's an accomplished player kind of gets into this stuff because it, it gives you a way to develop music that's you know your own and they're just guidelines. You don't want to make these scale exercises become your master. They're just cool little exercises to get you moving around the harp and get you familiar with the scale so that you're not playing outside that scale by accident because of muscle memory, like going... Or something like that, putting in a note that doesn't belong so your scale is pure... And then when you want to put in another note, you do it because you want to, not because it just happens. So <clears throat> you learn to improvise with a limited amount of notes. You can play as many of those limited amount of notes as you want, but you don't travel outside that zone at home when you're teaching yourself until you're ready to do that. And when you're ready, you'll know it because uh, you, you won't be making the mistake of, uh, of leaving uh, that scale. So anyway... Um, I'm getting back to it. So that's how I kind of developed the triplets, you know. And, uh, and then, the, of course, the lower ones. And now, let me give you a couple of cool licks. Here's one that, you know, I first heard Charlie McCoy doing. It's just like... Now, let me show you the lick. It's it's three draw bend. It starts on the three draw bend, goes up to the three draw, four draw, and then back down the same way all the way to the two draw. So, and I often blow out on the two blow. And you can do part of it too, you know, just that. Or start it from another spot, you know, there's that four draw, down to the three draw, down to the three draw, bend a whole step, down to the two draw. This is a style that's very common to Zydeco and, uh, and other country guys, uh, DeFord, Bailey, and uh, Jazz Gilliam, and it's, it's incorporating these tongue block octaves in. It's sort of an accordion sound. It's very effective in the major pentatonic scale, and I use it a lot. I love to play this way. Like when I'm warming up, if I haven't touched a harmonica in a couple of days or a couple of weeks, the, like the first thing I do is just kind of pick it up and... <laughs> Stuff. But anyway, I love that sound, man. Uh, one of the guys I really love that plays this way is Taj Mahal. I love the way he plays harmonica. It's so pretty, and he's always messing with the time. Check my video on tongue stutters. <laughs> and all this kind of... Just taking the tongue on and off in a, in a real uh, percussive manner. But uh, it's fun. And you can mix all these licks together and just...
anyway, my 15 minutes is about up. I could go on all day. Hope you liked it. Bye.